Hello sports fans, welcome to RVing with Luck. I'm Ralph Luck. And today we're just going on a little adventure, but I thought I'd inform you about this state land I'm on. And I'll show you as I'm driving uh, behind me here. Is where I just came from at the RV. I got the top down because it's like 75 degrees. Oh my gosh. Does Mother Nature know that it's December? I've got shorts and a t-shirt on and I'm hot. Put the top down or maybe the AC. I don't know. Once I get going, it'll be fine though. It's definitely a cloudy day. But let me show you the front here as we go towards a closed street. And uh, this is a dirt part, but as you can see, it's got gravel on it too, and I'll explain why. That big building up ahead. Some sort of commercial building, I'll have to look into what it is. And behind that is the I-10. It's great, I love seeing the lights and the, and the whatnot but definitely cannot hear a sound of it. And now you'll see we're going on to pavement. Yes, this is actual pavement. To the left there it was too. And check out this giant open spot of pavement up here. This is actually like the northern end of the landmark I'm gonna describe. The other day I had several cars here and they were flying the old school remote vehicles. That's some good firewood there. Lots of trash, which is sad. Let me give you a spin around here. You can see lots of trash. That up there is like a West Tech school of dental assistance and salon <laughs> oh wait a minute i think that yellow one there straight ahead is that one so i misspoke about that one there a minute ago that one has school buses at it uh, but that yellow one yeah that's dental assistance and salon training very interesting put those two together and that's where i just came those mountains, they look pretty small here, don't they? Let me see. Those mountains are the Astrea Mountains. Let's see if I get a good picture of these. Those are the white tanks. The white tank mountains are not actually that big. We're just closer to them. The Astrea are actually bigger. But let me show you an aerial photo of this and explain what it is. So here's an aerial photo of the place. And this is actually an auxiliary airport of Luke Air Force Base uh, several miles away. I remember seeing it back in the early 2000s listed on, on maps and Google if it was around then, I don't know. Um, and that's why this is paved. And you can see from the diagram that it's just about like Luke Air Force Base. I'll show you that here as well. And that's why this is all paved on this area. And apparently they no longer need it and have it just listed as state land. So a pretty simple day today. I'm gonna go enjoy a Wendy's burger in person right there in the Wendy's it's right next to the Walmart I got to um, then I'm picking up my grocery order I decided around the first of the month and around the middle of the month I'm going to try and get my groceries or the middle and the end of the month hey who knows uh, but I got my groceries like on the 6th today's about the 16th I think um, I know it's only been 10 days but I'm finding what I, I really use a need a lot. So we're gonna go to Wendy's and then get groceries. So I redid the audio here and doing a voiceover because with the top down, 
the wind was just atrocious. So there's a really nice community here in Buckeye, which had originally been like farm fields and things like that. But they built the Sundance area, and they have different areas in Sundance. This one ha happens to be uh, active adult living, uh, some of the signage says. But they've got golf courses and uh, really nice homes out here. So it was built as kind of a younger Sun City type uh, area. And I found out that people living on golf courses end up hating those homes because their homes get hit by golf balls all the time. Not sure what construction's going on there. Maybe a new school or new business area. But let's get on to Walmart. Or food first. I forgot food. Well, after going into Wendy's and not seeing anything that made me very comfortable to stay and eat there, I had a change of plans. But I decided to edit over me complaining about the details and just thought, let's move on to another place. So I had a great idea right across the street. And here we go. So you know what? Let's go to Al Pollo Loco. All right. Just to hop across the street. This is a much better quality place, I, I gotta say. Of course, watch the food taste terrible, but nobody here because it's too healthy. So take a freeze frame of their menu. Ooh, salsas, sides. Okay. Looks like somebody took a bite out of my wing. So. Very disappointed with that. Chicken breast looks wonderful. The beans look wonderful. I've got the corn as well, pinto beans. And then I've got some guac, some regular salsa, some rojo spicy salsa, and pico de gallo. And you get tortillas. I got flour. You can get corn or flour. And so you take the chicken and put it in there and you make your own little burrito. Delicious. It's Famous fire grilled chicken is what they call it. So besides that missing, you know, the manager came up and said, yeah, that's what they look like. And asked if I wanted a leg instead, but I'm like, no, I'm good. So the chicken was delicious. Like I said, fire grilled chicken, very good. Let's go take a look at the chef. <laughs> look at that. There's famous fire grilled chicken. Grilling it up, cutting it up, and it is delicious. That's why I'm so fat. But this is healthy, healthy and good. I know these car thermometers are always off. Thermometers, temperature readings. But I just checked my phone and it says it's 75 degrees. Holy cow. It sunsets in an hour. As soon as the sun sets, it drops 50 degrees. It gets cool. But man, midday in freaking December. Well, when putting back up the top and rolling up all the windows, the passenger side decided to go down. And I can't get it back up. Ugh. Unbelievable. But guess where I stopped? Okay. Everyone's favorite, the Dollar Tree like a dollar store, dollar general. We're gonna look for a wreath for the RV. Okay, so we're looking for a wreath for the front of the RV. Definitely have lots of Christmas stuff. So I got a mini Christmas tree and a bow with the little think of a bobber for the front of the RV. A dollar twenty-five each. Not bad. I have a little Christmas spirit in the RV. And now we wait. They always are packed. Here's the Buckeye location. And even though they've got like three employees out here, it takes like 20 minutes to get your groceries. But oh well, at least I can sit and wait. So I had to make a bathroom run. So I left the trunk open. Well, what do you know? I had an urgent use to use the bathroom. I left my trunk open. 
went in used the bathroom i was in there for a little bit and i came out my trunk was closed i looked and all the groceries were in there so pretty awesome i'm um, heading back to the rv now it's almost sunset okay let's let the crazy cat out where you at ninja come on out oh where you at ninja come on outside are you up there huh Aha! Uh -huh. She's been in her bed in the front seat. If only you'd travel up there when we uh, are riding. Huh? Yeah, hello. Hello, yeah, thank you. Come on outside. Come on outside. You gonna come outside? Maybe she'll figure it out in a minute. There we go. A little Christmas spirit. <laughs> you always got to be in the in the frame, don't you? You think everybody just loves you, don't you? Well, you're right. I know this is terrible. It's out my bedroom screen, but I keep forgetting to take a picture of the sunset. So you see how beautiful it is when we get clouds here. Oh my gosh, it's magnificent. Look. So I uh, finished putting away the groceries, Ninja's outside, and that's another day in the books. I'm going to have a couple of beers because it is Saturday for me. Two nights a week I'm allowed, and only because I was at Walmart I picked up some beers. Um, anyway, thanks for joining me on uh, this adventure today. I got the Christmas bow up, the little mini trees on the dining room table. When we travel, I'll put it on the front dash. Uh, but for now... Be positive, be nice, be active. If you enjoyed this video, please smash that thumbs up button. It really helps the channel. And also, if you haven't already subscribed, we'd love to have you as part of the community and you get alerts anytime I post a new video. From Ninja and I, we bid you adieu. Have a great day.